brand new LD5. The real question here, though, is who's stronger? Is it the Dark Yuji or is it Sukuno? Because this is supposed to be the stronger unit. However, this is the unit that everyone gets for free, and this, <clears throat> and this is the unit that people have to actually summon. So what does he do? And then we'll take a look and see him in action. Triple hit. Uh, damage ignores all damage reduction effects for skill. One second skill is a defense break and then destroys the enemy max HP by 100% of the damage dealt. He has a 50% increased chance of landing a critical hit for each harmful effect granted on the enemy. And he already does a defense break there. And then he has this third skill, Black Flash Barrage. So you don't really need too much crit rate on him because this gets a 50% crit rate boost. Uh, and well, per harmful effect. And then this one, Grants Endure on yourself for one turn, attack the enemy target four times with attacks that always land as a critical hit. So you really don't have to worry too much about crit rate on this guy. Oh God, we're going to see him not crit very often, aren't we? Uh, in addition, well, at least with this one, maybe well, as long as there's debuffs though, as long as there's debuffs, but then this you would have to really, that's not going to be critting ever. Um, so in addition, decreases your skill cooldown by one turn each of the hits damages 15% or more of the enemy's max HP. So this should be available a lot. That is the theory. Let's see it in action. Light Mage first. Why the Light Mage? Why of all the things you could first pick, why that one? And some, a handful of other LD5s. And Light Mage gets, oh, uh, okay. Light Mage gets banned. Didn't think that was going to be the one that got banned. Let's see. Strips. Okay. And then Black Flash Barrage. Decent enough damage. Actually killed. Without any defense break. That's <laughs> brutal. Honestly, I, I feel like the Destiny is, is more dangerous. But I'm surprised he actually killed something without any defense break there. Both players looking to take turn one. Look, gets banned. Speed lead. Only one speed lead on the right hand side, two speed leads on the left hand side, so they take turn one, of course. Blade Crush. I mean, it's, it's kind of cleave versus cleave, so it feels already over. So he's he's got it again, right? He should be able to use it this turn. You saw those cool time decreases. Both players trying to take turn one. There's only one. Sp okay, it's two speed leads now on the right hand side. Bans the Ethna. So left hand side should take turn one. Yeah. Because that thing's crazy fast, but they're not going to have anything fast enough to follow it up with. So let's see. Defense breaks. Increase attack gauge. Takes the Vanessa down. Two units down. They could still come back here. They could still come back. And we know that the Ren is on Swift, though. So he's not going to Violent proc out of that. Oh, that, that could have changed the game if they got that stun. Here's another one. Light Mage first. Such a nasty combo. What gets banned? The Light Mage again gets banned. Not the unit I thought was going to get banned. I thought the attack power buffer was going to be the one that got banned. He's just nuking things regardless. He's not even no defense break or anything. He's just killing. There we go. Wow. Oh. Not bad, the Oblivion there. And then he's got the third skill again. Solid. Very solid. I'm, I'm surprised he's killing things. Like, without any defense break at all. And he didn't land it there, but... Yeah, this is this is over. They've, they've got sustain... The Ashir, the Ashir just being there and occasionally giving a little bit of heals here and there. So not contesting turn one on the left-hand side. So they're going to be able to snipe something out. They got enough multi-hits here to take out the Leica. Do they proc as well? They do not. Oh, they do proc. Oh, I thought they were going to go for uh, Juno, actually. So he's, he's playing it differently than the, the other player. 
Guys, I, I don't know why they went for the defense break on something that they knew was already going to die. And also, he's not going to get... If he if he hits that monkey, he's less likely, because of damage mitigation, he's less likely to actually decrease the cooldowns on that skill 3. I thought he was going to take the, take the Juno or the Leica down with that. I didn't, I didn't think he was going to go for the monkey. Monkey was already dead. He already had the debuff. He was already going to die. And welcome back. Attack power buff, though, this time. Oh, he's going to take another turn. There we go. And Juno cannot take that off. Oh, nice. Oh, I thought it was going to actually decrease the uh, the attack gauge there. Why has he put the mark on if he's just going to hit things? The, the mark is there so that you don't have to you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's just going to eventually die. They need another boost on the right-hand side. They do not have... Well, unless the uh, Aludi is on Swift. Let's see. Nope. Definitely not on Swift. Yeah, so something's going down, and it's going to be the chicken. Yeah. That's just massive overkill. He's got the Endure, though, so he's not going to die from that. And he can go for it. He can, he can just take the Leica down here. Because of all the multi-hits. And then... Ah, uh, but he's not... So he didn't do enough damage to Miles. Miles is tanky enough that uh, it didn't do... That was it 15% to uh, to decrease the cooldown. So he didn't get the decreased cooldown on Miles. If he did do it on the Samoth, Samoth would have taken enough damage where he actually would have uh, gotten his skill again. And we'll, see, we'll see how much Samoth kills when he comes back from the dead. These two fire units are tanky enough, though. He doesn't have to worry about it. He might take the other two down. Yeah, I, I figured he was going to take the Wall Young down, actually. But uh, I didn't think he was going to take down the fire tanks. Here comes the LDs. It's like every, every match of uh, RTA, here comes the LDs. I, I think that uh, actually the Dominic was a good pick here. Because Dominic should be able to take care of the, the Acroma decently. Let's see. It would have been nice to have something that uh, didn't get revived. Actually, the new Water UG would have been decent here. Because he can kill things and then they don't uh, they don't revive. So that would have been a decent unit here. You have to actually summon it, but yeah. That, that would have been possibly the... Would it have been the better UG? Because it does seem like it in this one instance. Now he's going to do some decent damage, though. <laughs> Unless he dies first. Yup, just kidding. Not going to do some decent damage. But look at the Dominic. Just take care of that. Take care of the Akroma now. Oh, man. He violent fucked. I was going to say now they don't have to worry about the uh, speed difference. But yeah, that Dominic was a great pick here. So we saw this player earlier with the Light Mage. Oh, I see the uh, Water Gojo. Bans the speed leads. Still takes turn one left-hand side, though. Because you know that Water Pudding Princess, ever since they buffed the base speed of that unit... Hold on, do they strip? <laughs> that answers your question. That answers your question. It's not going to be enough. He's got the damage mitigation, though. You see the ancient power. But he d he does still do the uh, the 15%. <sighs> the violent proc there. Insult to injury. But yeah, in order... He's got he's to do over 15% to get that cool, cool time down. To get the max value out of that. Yeah, it's... it's a, Fengen is, is a decent unit, but he, he can't solo this. Or maybe he can... Listen, I don't know. Maybe he can. 
I've, I've seen crazier stuff happen. Oh my god, Pengan's gonna solo this, isn't he? Jeez. Oh, never mind. He's got the defense break. We got the. I think we saw this player before, and he had the Wall Young on his team, right? I believe so. It's a different, slightly different comp now. Strips everything. They're gonna go for the uh, Dark UG first, right? Yep. They do have a revive though. <laughs> and they, uh, they need it. So they're gonna heal with the Camila. Yep. They're gonna go for Veramos first. Let's see. Not enough damage. There's a tankier side, Veramos. Not enough to kill. And he's gonna heal the Vanessa up. Is that gonna be enough to keep the Vanessa around? Because if he doesn't take it down now, yeah, the Camila's gonna heal it up. Yeah, the additionals. Oh man. All right, so UG's down, so we don't get to see the UG any anymore. Kind of want to see how this plays out though, because any any team can win it. All RNG. They do need to get some CCs on that uh, Feng Yan, or a defense break and a crit. Defense break and Camila skill two crit, or yeah, they get the freeze there. All right. Because they got heals, they got immunity, so they don't have to worry too much about defense breaks. Yeah. And sadly, the thing again is not doing as much damage as he could with those additionals. Let's see. Let's see how many freezes. Let's see. Because every time Fengian is going to try to take the... Oh, no, he goes for the Camila. Uh, every time the, the Fengian tries to kill something, as soon as Camila takes a turn or uh, Veljul does his skill too, there's going to be healing going on. And I think uh, I think the Fengian's not going not gonna to be able to do enough damage as quickly as he needs to. And this Camila, just over the course of time, is going to be able to do more. Yeah, look at that. Almost, uh, almost completely down, GG. Pick as usual. Man, I feel like, hey gang, first pick, you can just play around. You can just ignore it and just play around it and not have to worry. Or just ban it out. That's another... <laughs> okay. She's gonna do the AoE strips now and stuns. And not strips and stuns. She's gonna do basically nothing. So, comp to us buffs Gianna. Doesn't, doesn't matter because... <laughs> RNG is still RNG, so Gianna owners don't get the buff because they get RNG'd. Feels good. So they opted for the skill one on the Oliver instead of trying to strip the uh, the Masha. Oh, Rage Explosion almost takes Oliver down, but not quite. Let's see. Let's see if UG goes crazy. Who's gonna go for the Masha? Okay. Does enough damage to decrease the cooldown. Well, let's see. Gets an additional turn and already has the cool the, already has the skill three again. So as long as you're hitting squishy units, infinite access to skill three. It's another first pick, hey gang. Okay. Well, I'm a fire uh fire hacker. That is not the comp I thought was gonna come out on the well, actually, on either side, now that I think about it. Tetra gets banned. Two LD5s, Tetra gets banned. Like, I don't want to deal with her. Wild. Not at all what I thought was going to happen in this uh, in this comp. In this match. All right. Well, let's see. Very cool animations, man. That is, that is anime enough by itself. All right, so he's got the skill three again. Defense break is now off, which means he's going to be targeting the uh, Dokebi Lord. No, oh, he's actually getting it. Since it has a defense break, uh, it was actually decreasing the cooldowns on that skill three. Let's circle back now to what I said at the very beginning, where Yuji is not supposed to be as strong as Sukuna. However, the free one is still not as good as the one you have to actually summon, which is already a better version. He has... He was doing this, he was killing things with no defense break, and he gets this immediately again as long as 
he continues to get those 15% thresholds on this. He's a he violent prox. He's got full access to skill three as many times as he wants, as long as he's not hitting tanks. Or if they are tanks, he needs a defense break to be able to hit that 15% threshold. So anyway, that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know most of us here are not ever going to see this on our accounts, but still a fun unit to watch. I'll see you as always in the next one.